Cello Charmy. Today we will be taking a look at the ecosphere that's never in the dark. Because as of today, it is exactly 4 months and 4 days old. The perfect amount of time to do an update. In the last update we saw that there was a lot of string algae on the glass and that the water was pretty clear. Now it's the other way around. The glass is quite clear, however the water is now filled with algae. Which made it look a little greenish, brownish or orangey-ish. I can't really tell because I'm colorblind. I am quite familiar with green aquarium or pond water as a result of unicellular algae floating in the water. However, this is a shade I've never seen before. I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that this closed ecosystem and all the organisms inside it, including the algae, never experience darkness. I think it does. In the previous update, which is about three and a half months ago now, I showed you that there was an increased amount of algae growing on the glass at the exact location where the LEDs were touching the glass. There does not appear to be a similar effect at this time. Let's move on to the animals. This ecosphere started out with a bunch of ostracods. Some tubifex, some snails, some leeches and some copepods. The copepods disappeared quite quickly. I haven't seen the leeches in about two weeks, but they were very active so I'm not sure they went extinct in this jar, so to say. The other three kinds of animals, however, are having a fantastic time. What you're looking at here are sea shrimp, which are a kind of ostracod. I've never seen them reproduce as much as in this ecosphere. The amount of ostracods in this jar is truly staggering, so they must be enjoying their home. I caught these two red-handed while making more ostracods. I caught them while they were making more ostracods. I didn't catch them on camera being ostracods while I was making ostracod babies myself. Humans can do that. <laughs> Here we have some shy tubifex, aka boogie worms. And an ostracot digging a tunnel. This tubifex right here is going to perform something very special for us. He's going to eject some feces out of the top of its body. Wow! Look at the substrate of this closed ecosystem. It's all green and slimy. And kind of pretty in a weird way. The bladder snails are also perfectly happy in this never-ending afternoon. Although you can't really see it in this clip, I feel like they're moving way faster in this ecosphere than they usually do. Although that's probably my mind playing tricks on me. Earlier in the video I talked about shy tubifex. They are shy because I moved the entire jar, their universe, to a table for filming. That shook them up a little bit. It was quite the earthquake after all. So they retracted in their little hidey hole. What you see here is only a small part of the body and most of them are too afraid to show themselves at all.
Later that afternoon, most of them decided it was safe to boogie again. Just like with the Ostracos, I've never seen tube effects reproduce as much in an ecosphere as I've seen them reproduce in this one. It's just something about that constant light that makes them want to reproduce. decided to get back to them at night, when all the animals have had time to relax. Some of you ask if the light of this ecosphere affects the other ecosystems in my windowsill. And the answer is no. Of course, to try and prove me wrong, the camera is picking up some light entering the paludarium. But this is barely visible when you look at it with your human eyes. So I would say the effect is negligible. Let's see if we can take a look behind the curtains of this never-ending party. So, this is the ecosphere that is constantly illuminated after 4 months. I am quite amazed it is doing this well, because it is quite an unusual ecosystem. After I made the first video about this project, I got a lot of requests to do an ecosphere in 24 7 darkness. I didn't really do it because I think everything inside will be dead in a week. But let me know if that's a project you actually want to see. If most of you do, then I will do it. I would like to thank Aim Knight, Denis Darko, Noistank01 and KDB, as well as the 92 other patrons for their very generous support. And I would like to thank you, yes you sitting there, for watching. Thanks, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, thanks for watching. So I would say the effect is nature